today is an interesting day. You know why? Astro, the people that created the framework Astro, launched their own database, Astro DB. Interesting, right? So let's actually go to my screen and check it out. So now we're on the website and you see this is the page. Let me actually zoom in a bit for you guys so that you can see something. This is the page for Astro DB. And I think the heading already tells you everything. The database platform for content-driven websites. So what S2DB right here tries to achieve is create a database for content-driven websites. So in that sense, blogs, photo sites, news sites, something that is driven by content. And as you see right here, with the paragraph, S2DB is a fully managed SQL database, which is quite cool. That means we use an SQL database. We will also later on see which database they use, which is fast, lightweight, and very easy to use. Now, one thing you should know right here in this context right now is that AstroDB only works for Astro projects. So that means if you use Nextshares, Remix, uh, Gatsby, or whatever there is, you can't use Astro, at least that's right now. So that's an important thing you have to know. Now, if you scroll down a bit, you now see actually the three most important things about AstroDB. And now the first interesting thing is right here is that AstroDB actually uses LibSQL. Now, what even is LibSQL? That was the first question which I asked myself. Well, if you search on it in Google, you will come to this GitHub repo. And right here you will see LibSQL is an open source fork of SQLite, and it is maintained by Terso. Now, Terso is also a database provider. They uh, provide SQLite also on the edge, which is quite cool. But the important thing right here is that LibSQL is open source and just a modern fork of um, SQLite. Now, why do they actually use LibSQL? Well, a few things. Of course, it's modern, it's faster, it's easier. Okay, maybe not faster, but it's easier. And with that, you can also achieve local development without needing a Docker environment. And that's actually quite cool. Also, you will right here see the second point is scale with confidence. What does Astro mean with that? Well, Astro, if you don't really use it, it's free, right? Uh, that's just like Neon. If you know Neon DB, they use Postgres. Um, it's scaling to zero. So if you don't use it, you don't pay anything. If you use it, you pay something. It's that simple. Of course, there's also free tier, but that's the grip of that. And then the third thing that they offer is actually that it's automatically configured. Now, what is uh, what does that mean actually? Well, right here, Astro or Astro DB uses Drizzle ORM as an ORM. Now, Drizzle ORM is great. It's in TypeScript ORM. It's headless. It's easy to use. It's actually faster than Prisma and it's actually able to run on the edge. And that's important because if you scroll down a bit further right here, they tell you, first of all, the possibilities, the use cases. But if we scroll down a bit further right here, you will see global distribution. This is very, very cool because AstroDB can actually live in multiple places. What I mean with that is they tell you right here, create databases in eight different regions around the world like the EU, the US, Japan, etc. This is quite cool because your database can live at the edge and for example, your website can also live on the edge. And with that, we will just see way faster websites and way faster mutations, etc. What else do we see right here? Well, it's built on SQL. We already talked about that, libSQL. We see the TypeScript ORM. This is again Drizzle. And again, I love Drizzle, it's great. Then you see zero login. This is quite cool, actually. When I looked at this website and saw that, it was quite astonishing, in my opinion, because you can just export it with one button, your whole database using SQL or CSV, whatever you want, and then you can just export it easily. Well, for example, PlanetScale right now, you can't do that. You have to use the CLI, which is fine, but it's very cool that they offer it right here with just a click of a button. And yeah, that's actually almost already everything. You see, we have a nice free tier. Um, you can create your databases. You have one uh, GB of database included. And I think that's fine enough for a free database, to be honest. So it's quite cool. It's generous. And it's, in my opinion, from what I saw in the docs, very easy to use. And now, guys, that's actually already all. This is AstroDB. And if you want uh, me to actually build something to create a tutorial with AstroDB, with Astro, with the Drizzle ORM, which already comes automatically, where we check out, for example, local development, how mutations work, how the configuration works, how deployment works, then write a comment and I will create a tutorial at some point in the future. And now I hope you enjoyed this video. You could learn something, could learn something about AstroDB. And with that, I hope you're subscribed. I hope you like this video and bye.